Welcome to another Behind the Event vlog. Uh, we're still in Oslo and today I'm going to take you behind DMB Next. Just got into DMB here, got the little name tag printed out, ready for the event. So it's the day before the event, the, the evening before. Full day event from I think 10.30 I kick it off until 6 in the evening-ish. Three stages, over a thousand people, should be really fun. I'm gonna film the reception in a minute when I ask permission if I can film. But yeah, I'm here, to, here now to do sort of the, the tech check, run through, uh, run through the program, see if everything's smooth. And it should be a pretty, pretty fun day. I've done it before, so I know the audience and I know the, the setup. Um, but I love working with this team here because when you get a bank like this, they throw a lot of money into it, meaning this high level of production value, professionalism. So it's very easy to do shows like this, which are bigger, higher profile than it is to do smaller shows sometimes. Anyway, I'll take you uh, behind the scenes now to see how they're setting up. What's up guys? Give us a wave, how we doing? Catch you later. Postgrin, post post obviously right now it's a bit empty. There will be, it'll be full of babes and I'm just kidding. It'll be full of <laughs> water bottles and maybe some bananas and uh, some fruit or something. But uh, anyway, give us a wave by big man. Hey guys. So what are you, are you doing during the event? Fill me in. What did you say? What are you doing for the event? What's I'm your role? I'm actually the uh, project leader. Oh, so you're the man in charge of it all. Yeah. So if I mess up, it's your fault. No, I think it's yours. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. Well, good no answer, mate. Yeah. I want to introduce real? you to someone who's very special to me. Christopher Sapienza. No, Sapi is the man who is putting all of this together. He's the creative genius but behind, and he always wears this little scarf around his neck. I've noticed that recently. You and uh, Ringness, <laughs> that was close. <laughs> um, what's, what, uh, it suits you. What's it all about? I've seen it, it's it quite... started out of me being afraid of getting sick here in Norway. Oh, so, so it was like a... I wanted to protect my... Yourself, from, yeah. And this that, is the room here. And then now yeah. it's just a thing. It, but it looks good, man. All right, we're gonna go and prep, go through the program, and then uh, I'll see you all later. So Chris and I have been going through the program, making last minute changes, uh, getting my uh, order ready for the cue cards and stuff like that, so I can keep the order through the day. Just had a little bite, and I think, I think we're done now. It's like pushing six o'clock, so I'm gonna head home and you know, chill for the evening, and then take you with me for the main show tomorrow. All right, everyone, so I thought I'd do a little check-in. Um, so I, sorry, I didn't film myself before I went on and started. Um, was getting ready and things. But um, yeah, started the show now, uh, things were good. Pretty, uh, pretty quiet audience, as it always is in the mornings. It's, Friday, it's Thursday, I'm gonna warm them up as I go. Um, cracked a few jokes, maybe it hit, maybe it didn't. But you know what the thing in this case is, just to keep the energy high. Don't match the audience for energy. You want them to match you, that's the goal. So yeah, so we've start kick things off. We've had our first speaker, um, 50 minute break, and then it's the uh, quite a bit of fun now. It's the the hundred pitches semi final that will start, um, and then uh, I've got to introduce them and jump off stage. Uh, the funny thing is, I the last speaker was a professor at BI, a university here, and I didn't know actually to ask him some questions. And then the uh, cameramen and women were like, Matt, we need you to put some makeup on because my forehead was glaring with the light. So I had to, he was speaking, I ran over, got some makeup, and by the time I came back, he was about to finish. So I was like, I didn't know what he was talking about either. So I went on and I just threw three kind of Hail Mary questions at him, uh, you know, about how can we today move forward with your, you know, lecture if you worked in a corporate or if you work in a startup you know, kind of throwing some Hail Mary questions. Unfortunately, he was a very enthusiastic speaker, so he had some pretty enthusiastic answers. 
yeah, so that's the first um, session going. You know, the ball's rolling, people are saying hello, uh, great job, that's always uh, a good sign. And um, yeah, now we've got a full day of this actually, so another five, six hours. Uh, fortunately, I'm jumping on and off stage, so it's not too cumbersome. But, um, but anyway, I'll try and take you around a little bit later. Um, yeah, let's do it. All right, I thought you deserved a little walk around of DMB Next. Firstly, let me introduce you to a very handsome fellow. Hey, buddy. Hey, dude. How's it going? It's going great. How's DMB Next so far? Uh, it's been amazing. What's yeah. the special thing about new, new movement, Martin? So, Sorry, am I killing a sale though? No, am I no, killing no, a sale? No, that's yeah, yeah. No, that's right. no, uh, you know, uh, when, when you walk a mile uh, in these shoes, you really take that movement forward and you make waves and you inspire new movements. So, you know, we are really focusing on uh, using organic, uh, recycled and renewable materials. And we also have a circular design philosophy. So let's say you have used this uh, shoes mat for like, let's say two, three, four, five years. You can actually plant them like a, a sheem. You can plant them like a tree and they'll yeah. grow shoes. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, the stores will give you 20% on your next pair. Amazing. And then we granulate this into different uh, components. Wow. And then we make sh uh, new shoes out of your waste. Circular shoe. Yeah, circular economy in uh, practice. All right, so we are, I think, halfway through the program ish. Um, things are going well, just over halfway, actually. Sorry, let me do this a bit better. Um, just trying to nibble a few things as I go. I think in the past I would, I would you know, you, you have so much energy, you, you don't feel like eating, but you need to nibble things as you go. So, so what I do is, you know, get some lunch and then I'll just basically, every time I come and sit here, I'll take a bite or two or three, gradually finish my lunch over two hours or something. Because, you know, you don't feel lethargic then, you also don't feel over full. You know, sometimes when you go on a stage, you can feel like you might throw up or something. Um, so it's good to not be too full, also not be too, uh, you know, tired either. So yeah, so now right now, you know, energy's still going strong. Um, I went to the makeup, uh, so the, the lovely Sandra, um, Sarah, sorry, did some makeup for me. Um, you know, obviously with all the big lights and things, it can gl glisten off your forehead, so, so she helped me out there. Yeah, and then I'm going to go back and do an outro for the session I just started, and then move on to the next one after that. Um, so yeah, you know, just sort of... Stage, 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 keeping the energy going. A lot of nice comments from people coming up to me saying, oh, you know, really great, high energy, thank you. So yeah, thank you to them. And actually just thank you to anyone who comes up to me at these events and says, you know, good job, because it's nice to um, not so much be, be uh, yeah, seen, but it's nice to sort of be appreciated and, and that, you know, I really do give it everything. And I do it because I love it, but it's nice to sort of be appreciated and see that people are enjoying themselves, which is why I'm here and why I do this. I want to work with an audience. I'm an, in, I'm an interactive host. I work with an audience. I don't go up there and read a script or um, have a very uh, unflexible script. I am very flexible. You've got to react to what's happening and what the audience wants, what they don't want. You've got to you know, help them get what they want when they don't want anything at all because they're being tired because it's just a long day. Um, mm. So yeah, so I'm gonna go and um, yeah, I'll chill for another five minutes then I'm gonna go back to the room that I just kicked off. Wrap that up, <laughs> then head over to the big auditorium for another talk. So there's a lot of running around for me today. I think I'll get a coffee in between that. And yeah, then maybe I'll have, a, I've had a banana already. Maybe I'll have another one. Anyway, um, thank you.
So that's it, wrapping up of d &B Next. This year, the beers are already being panned, but it was a fun event. Um, everyone's rounding off now. And the nice thing is I'm having a beer with the wonderful team behind Smock, actually, yeah. from the Monday night event. Give us a wave, everyone. Smock.ai, check them out, they're awesome. Um, so yeah, that wraps up this vlog. Thanks for watching Behind the Scenes of d &B Next 2022. And uh, I'll do a little debrief in the next couple of days. I'll see you. Uh... Now we're going to head off to the, the 657 10-year anniversary party. But I have to give a lecture at 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. Yeah. <laughs> so good luck to whoever's going to be watching well, that. Well,